living and non-living things. Pre-reading questions. Do you feel pain if somebody pinches you? Can you live without food? Does your table move on its own? Can a pencil breathe? Aim to make the children able to differentiate between living and non-living things. We see a variety of things around us. Some of them can move about while others cannot. Some of them eat food, breathe and grow up while others do not do these activities. If we touch some of the things around us, we will find some of them feel and react, but others do not. So, things around us are classified into two groups. Living things, non-living things. Living things. Living things have life. They need food, water and air to stay alive. They grow. Most of them can move about too. Plants, animals and human beings are living things. Non-living things Non-living things have no life. They do not eat, breathe or grow. They cannot move about by themselves. Let us discuss some characteristics of living things. Living things breathe. All living things breathe air. Human beings and many animals breathe through their noses and lungs. Fishes breathe through gills. Insects breathe through air holes or air tubes. Plants breathe through minute pores in their leaves called stomata. Non-living things do not breathe. Living things need food. All living things need food. Food gives them energy to grow, move and keep healthy. Human beings and animals eat and drink daily. Animals move from place to place for food and water. Plants do not need to go in search of food. They make their own food in the presence of air, water and sunlight. Non-living things do not take food. Living things grow. All living things grow. Plants, animals and human beings grow with time. Non-living things do not grow. A baby grows into an adult. A puppy grows into a dog. A small plant grows into a big plant. Living things move. Living things can move on their own. Animals move from place to place in search of food, water and shelter. Most animals move on their legs. Birds fly in the air using their wings and walk on land using their legs. Fishes use their fins and tails to swim in water. Snakes crawl using the bony plates under the skin. Movement in plants is different. They do not move from one place to another. Only their parts show movement. Some flowers open in the morning and close at night. The sunflower turns towards the sun. Non-living things cannot move on their own. They move only when someone moves them, living things feel and react. All living things feel and react to the changes around. They feel and react 
through their sense organs. We can see with our eyes in the light. We are unable to see when it is dark. We cry when we get hurt. Plants also react to changes in surroundings. Touch me not or Lajwanti plant folds its leaves when someone touches them. Non-living things do not feel or react. Living things reproduce. All living things reproduce their own kind. All mammals give birth to young ones. Women give birth to babies. Cows give birth to calves. While birds, fishes and most insects lay eggs from which babies come out. Most plants produce seeds. Seeds grow into new plants. In some plants, the stems, roots and buds can produce new plants. Rose plants can be grown by stem cuttings. Potatoes are grown by buds. Non-living things do not reproduce. What have you learned? Things are either living or non-living. Plants, animals and human beings are living things. Living things have these special features. Living things breathe. Living things need food. Living things move. Living things grow. Living things feel and react. Living things reproduce. Non-living things do not have the above features. More to know. A frog breathes through its lungs when on land and through its skin when in water. The process of making food by the green plants in the presence of air, water and sunlight is known as photosynthesis. Photo, light, synthesis, to make. Word power. Gills. Organs through which fish and some other water animals breathe. Air holes. Tiny holes along the sides of the bodies of insects that help in breathing. Stomata. Tiny pores in the leaves through which they breathe. Mammal. Living things that suckle their young ones.